Peace be to you all. Happy Friday to you. Omar here. Salaam alaikum. Uh, so PA, health educator, family man, and middle-aged endurance runner. Um, for those of you guys, my fellow Muslims who are uh, celebrating Eid al-Aha, Eid Mubarak to you. Uh, you can search that on the internet to find out more about it. Um, this is, the, this is uh, one of the days in which it's advised for us to fast. So I'm running very slow <laughs> in the shade because I'm fasting. Inshallah, may it be accepted by Allah. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you guys about running as an older person. And I'm in my mid-50s. Inshallah, Lord willing, I will be 54 by September, just in time for the the uh, JFK 50 mar 50 mile marathon. Airplane. Um, I I work as a um, I work as a PA in a doctor's office, and I've always worked. Pretty much in internal medicine, so with adults, whether I was working in outpatient clinic or hospitalist medicine. But uh, one of the things about us middle-aged and older adults, so those of us 50 and older, according to ARP, the Association, uh, the American Association of uh, Retired Persons, not quite there yet, but you know, 50 and older is considered an older American, quote unquote. Um, we have a lot of joint issues. So I see that a lot in the clinic, or the, uh, the doctor's office where I work in. The patients get mad at me. Some of them are my age, and they come in with canes and walkers. They've got various types of arthritis, whether that's rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis. Um, some have gout. Some just have, you know, torn ACLs, torn meniscus. And they want to know what I can do for them. And they're like, what are you going to do about my knees? What are you going to do about my back? I, said, I can't help you. I take ibuprofen. My knees are killing me. My back hurts. I lifted weights with my sons yesterday, or two days ago. And I'm paying for it today. <laughs> I tried to use proper lifting form, but my back hurts. I did some squats, so my knees hurt. Um, that's just the way it is. For many of us, as we get older, it doesn't affect everybody, but it affects many of us at varying degrees. For some people, it's absolutely debilitating. For me, I found it uh, um, annoying. <laughs> it hampers my training. Look at this. I think I'm doing a yeah. I'm doing a a 19 and a half minute mile shuffle. Uh, it's very frustrating. I used to be a lot faster. I used to train at a 5:30 minute mile pace, which is crazy. Can't believe I was that fast at one time. But uh, that's the way it is. Um, so, you know, people ask me, can they can they run? I said, sure, you can run. But, you know, what do you call it running? Hey, how are you? you know, I see a lot of my fellow gray-haired folks out here. Um, you know, running might be shuffling like I'm doing right now. I'm not even running. This is a shuffle. <laughs> Uh, you might not be able to run with the youngins, but you do the best you can. You know, walking's good too. I I think walking and then uh, pool running, you get in a pool with a weighted vest and um, go back and forth across the pool. That's better for your joints. You don't have to do what I do. This is, this is ridiculous. I just do this for my own ego. <laughs> uh, Make me feel like I... I I still have it, whatever it is. Um, and it's very therapeutic for me, I think, uh, mentally and spiritually. But yes, you can run if you are an older person. I see a lot of folks here in the, in the Rock Creek Park, much older than me. There's a guy, I see he's got to be in his 70s. And uh, he shuffles along, but he's still, he's still going. So uh, just try to do what you can as you get older. It's better than just sitting still. 
you know, I treat a lot of, uh, of um, metabolic syndrome. So poorly controlled diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and obesity in the doctor's office. I tell people the best thing they can do is get moving. You know, people have put on the COVID pounds because they've been sequestered in their homes. So, well, you know, you can get out. I, re I trained through COVID. Don't kill me! You know, you just, you keep going. Thank you. Just keep going, even if all you're doing is going back and forth across your, your living room. If you don't have a living room, then your small bedroom. Yeah, try to take the steps if you can. You know, just do the best you can where you're at. And as far as uh, pain is concerned, you got to figure out what works for you. Uh, ibuprofen can have deleterious effects. You know, these NSAIDs you know, have deleterious effects on your on your uh, kidneys and your GI system, in particular your stomach. Um, after many, after taking them for a long time, uh, can wear away at your stomach. So there's only so much of that stuff you can take. And then with the opioids like tramadol, you know, I write prescriptions for tramadol sometimes, but, you know, just to help people get through acute pain if they're having it. Um, but, you know, there's limitations on that, you know, especially with this opioid crisis. I can't write for it like, you know, Flintstone vitamins or, uh, <laughs> you know, people take them like Tic Tacs or something. But um, that's it for now, guys. You can run as an older person. Just do the best you can. I would suggest starting off very, very slowly if you're new at it and walking. Uh, make sure that you're able to do it. Uh, cl get cleared by your healthcare provider, your doctor, NP or PA. Uh, check your blood pressure. But it's it's exercise is the best thing for you. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Uh, subscribe if you have an interest in becoming a PA or health educator, or you like uh, trail running like me. Whew, God, I'm not even going fast. All right, take care, guys. Peace. Good morning. Oh, gosh. Ah, take care.